And I think the losers are Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, because now they own Obamacare. The president chose petulance over presidential leadership and signaled that he would undermine the Affordable Care Act. That was the president Friday calling the Senate Democratic leader a loser and the Senate Democratic leader today calling the president petulant. But in Washington, where you can say so many things without consequence, the two tried to get chummy tonight at the White House. So I think we're going to have some very good relationships. Right, Chuck? I see Chuck. Hello, Chuck. President Trump reaching across the aisle to Democratic leader Chuck Schumer and actually all 100 U.S. You, senators Mike. and their spouses invited to the White House Tuesday night. The president and Schumer, two New Yorkers, now duking it out on politics' biggest stage. Now, the president chose petulance over presidential leadership and signaled that he would undermine the Affordable Care Act and then try to blame Democrats for his lack of leadership. The president now signaling he wants to make a deal on health care, saying it'll be easy, while acting unilaterally on the environment. Signing an executive order Tuesday lifting Obama-era climate change regulations, standing side by side with minors. That is what this is all about, bringing back our jobs, bringing back our dreams, and making America wealthy again. The new order allows mining on federal land and rolls back protections for American waterways, issues that are critically important here in South Florida. It's almost like holding up a, a white flag on an issue that's going to affect all of our children, all of our grandchildren, all the whole future of this planet. Meantime, controversy continues to swirl around possible collusion between the Trump team and Russia in the 2016 election. If the president puts Russian salad dressing on his salad tonight, somehow that's a Russian connection. Calls for the Republican chair of the House Intelligence Committee to step aside. And he seems to be working with the White House to obstruct this investigation. Meanwhile, Miami Congresswoman Ileana Ross Leighton, who sits on that House Intel Committee, telling CBS 4 News today that she is confident in her Republican colleague to be able to run a fair investigation, but others say that that committee's work has lost all credibility.